Hello and welcome to Netflix at Home. My name is Linda and if you're brand new here, welcome, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. So it has been a hot minute again since I've been able to make a video or anything like that. Life, as always, gets crazy for me. Um, I'm trying to figure out a better schedule now because I'm actually, my hair's being weird. I'm actually out of training and I have my new schedule. Um, I'm still acclimating to that. It's been kind of weird. Um, I'm not used to working the shift that I have right now, which is kind of a, I don't even know what you would call it. It's like 1 p.m. to 9.45 p.m. It's bizarre. And I'm getting used to that whole um, transition of things. Uh, the other weird thing has been that uh, the company I work for does not take any holidays at all. So I work on Thanksgiving, which was kind of, it was okay. I got um, some stuff done, which is pretty cool. Um, I'll actually show you what I've been doing. My hair is being really weird. Sorry, my hair always bugged me. So I'll show you a couple of things that I've been working on and then I'll give you updates. And then if anyone's interested in how I do it, um, just let me know and I will post a video of how I make them because I love to do this. So my sewing machine has been on the blitz and um, to make these couple of things I'm going to show you, I had to do it all by hand. I did get a new stand for this, for the thread, but now I can't find my freaking presser foot cable for my sewing machine. I know I put it up someplace where I wouldn't lose it, which of course means I promptly lost it. Um, and short of tearing apart the entire storeroom to find it, because I think that's where it's at, um, I've just kind of relegated myself to hand sewing this year. But I think they came out really cute. I also have some more moat glass that I picked up, um, bought from a friend of ours, because she's literally getting rid of like all of her um, resale stuff. And she had several moat glass pieces, of course. You know I had to grab those. Um, so yeah, so give me just one second to get everything set up and I'll be right back. So, um, I've been making Christmas stockings. I made one for my cousin's little boy. They're actually doing a cupboard under the stairs reading area for him when they get their house built. And she's doing his reading nook, Harry Potter thing, which I thought, hello, I love Harry Potter. Child after my own soul. So I told her I would surprise him with a stocking. Isn't that fun? And so, and then at the top it has um, this really pretty, this is actually the color fabric that Jai picked out for their stocking. Um, so I used a piece of the remnant from when I made their stocking uh, shape when I cut it out to do the topper and then it will just hang like so in his little reading nook. How cute is that? So I'm gonna mail that off to her, get that package up today. And then um, my grandniece, who, I'm sorry, I can't hear the dog. Um, this will be her first Christmas because she was born in February of this year. And so I told them I was gonna make her stocking for her. And so this actually goes with um, the theme that I went with for all of the kids' presents. Um, so we have six grandchildren. One will have just been born here in the next couple of days. And then we have um, five other grandchildren. And we also have our nephew, Henry, and then my grandniece, Mila. And um, anyway, so to go along with the themes of their presence for this year, um, I wanted to make Mila's stocking to go with that whole thing. So, it's a little ballerina. And I ended up going with the white fur because um, Mila's mom and dad have white fur stockings on their mantle already. And so I want everything to kind of coordinate, but I did. I added the pearls here to the waist, and then I put a uh, little pearly beads, and then I put pearls all the way around it. And there you go. It's so pretty. Um, so I thought that was really cute. And then I did a little bow there. This reminds me of like the Ugg boots I thought was super cute. Yeah. So there's her little stocking. And that was really sweet. And the, everything is very like kind of plush, very lush feeling. 
So there's that. Um, okay, the other thing I've been doing is I'm making um, annual Christmas ornaments. And something I like to do is, let's see if I find me less. I like to glitter them, but because those are going to, I'm gonna mail them off to the Grands because they all live in Michigan. And then also, sorry, lay down. You're done, lay down. Um, anyway, so this one's gonna be for Henry. I haven't finished putting the um, vinyl on it yet. So I'm gonna do that. And then this one's gonna be for Mila. So it coordinates with her stocking. Isn't that cute? So, um, and of course it's gonna have a ballet theme to go with everything else I've gotten for her. Um, that's ballet related. And then this one is blue and um, for Henry. But anyway, I'm, I will show you when they're all done, but this is what I've been doing between work and everything else. And then I have a whole bunch I've already glittered. I just took a day and just glittered them all. And then I have a few more that um, need some glitter in them. And I actually ordered glitter and it'll be here later today. So if I get a chance, um, I'll try and see if I can show you guys all of that. Um, okay, so on to milk glass. Uh, so, my friend who was selling off all of her um, resale business stuff had posted a picture of this gorgeous beauty. I mean, and you can see it's ginormous. Um, panel grape, of course, Westmoreland. It still has its sticker. Absolutely love this piece. And I saw it and she wanted like 10 bucks for it. And I was like, I'll be there for that. And then she ended up showing us all the other stuff that she had. So of course I had to get some more. Um, and she gave us like an incredible, incredible deal for like everything. So this one is a Fenton. It has a torn Fenton sticker, but I don't care about that because I know what it is. And it's just gonna go in my cabinet. Isn't that pretty? Just a little ruffle edge Fenton hobnail small little bud vase, um, anchor hawking, just a little dish. And I have one just like this. Well, it's the, the milk glass piece is just like this, but then someone turned it into like a little stand and they drilled through it. I more bravery than I have, um, and turned it into like a little can um, a pedestal candy dish kind of thing. And so I thought it was cool to have one that was not pedestal dished. Um, and there's this one. This one always reminds me of like sea kelp. I'm pretty sure this is like Eo Brody or no. This one says FTD. Um, but it reminds me of some of the Eo Brody pieces from, you know, um, florists would use. But anyhow, and this could be Eo, e, Eo Brody made for um, FTD. But it reminds me of like kelp which I always think is kind of interesting. So like if you have kind of a, a nautical themed bathroom like I do, cause you know, Shell Cottage, Harry Potter, you get where I'm going. Um, kind of reminds me of that. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, I got this as well because I have this in the moon, like um, what do they call it? Moonstone or moon glow. And so it's, you know, basically um, clear to kind of that opalescent um, milk glass color. So I thought that was fun. It does have the cork in it, but the cork is in like, is like stuck and this piece keeps wanting to pop out. But I thought that was really cute. Love that. And so that'll go with the rest of my um, hobnail things. Very cute. Love that. Then there was this really cute cup and I really like birds. I have birds in the room here, like in picture form. Um, and I just thought it's so cute. But I feel like that's kind of how I feel about everything. And I am so sorry if you hear the dogs licking their feet in each other's faces because they love to groom each other and kiss each other. But look at that handle. Isn't that fun? 
is just it's such a cute cup. I love that. I don't know. There's no maker's mark on it, so I'll have to look this one up, of course. I just haven't had a chance. I actually got these a couple of weeks ago. Um, but like you can see the detailing, possibly, on the handle. It's very sweet. I love that. Then last but not least, um, I got, let's see if the words on them, these two. And I actually have a third one. Um, I've shown it before. I didn't have the lid. I didn't know it came with a lid, to be honest with you. I thought it was just a little paint pot kind of thing. And I use it for my Cricut um, weeding tools. But I got two of these because she had them. And it says they're made in Belgium, which is really cute. They're very sweet. I thought they'd be awesome, though, like in the bathroom. Like um, those little cotton pads in one and then Q-tips in the other. The only downside is... Um, I need to find the little rubber pieces that help the lids to not, you know, to have like that seal to them. It was just, yeah, kind of clingy. But super excited to have these also. And it says container made in Belgium, which I thought was really cool. Super cute. So that was all I had for milk glass. And then my craft projects have been going on. The two stockings, like I said, I was able to finish those up on Thanksgiving when I was between calls because it was like dead. And um, yeah, apparently we don't do holidays, even though banks do holidays and our main contract is with a bank, but oh well. So I'll be working on Christmas day as well. Um, so yeah, that's fun, not. Um, I do have some more videos planned. Um, I'm going to do a day in the life of video so you can kind of see what it's like as, you know, a um, business owner who is also working from home, who, you know, is um, working at the antique shop on Saturdays and kind of that whole spiel and the way my day starts off. First thing in the morning, I make my husband's lunch and then just kind of how my day goes. So I have that planned. We'll see how far that gets into production. Because again, it's all timing and life has been kind of chock full because it's that time of year. And I think that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for continuing to watch my videos, for continuing to be supportive, for asking questions and commenting below. I really appreciate you guys so much. Um, so yeah. And I know that in the new year, I want to do some other um, types of videos because, you know, got all that stuff. And then I still need to finish up my videos for my husband's um, Toby Jugs cabinet. So I'll let you guys see all that as well. Thank you guys again so much for being here. Thank you for liking, subscribing, and commenting. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Um, it means a lot to me. And I love seeing the questions and the comments. I really appreciate that. Um, and I hope you guys all had a wonderful Thanksgiving and I hope you guys have an amazing holiday season. Thank you guys so much for being here as always. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.